Hi everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Um, today is Wednesday. It's kind of been working out a bit better to film on a Wednesday because Wednesday the dog isn't here. Um, it makes it a bit quieter, a bit easier to get started and stuff. Um, I'm not sure I have enough time to film this video <laughs> because it's three o'clock. Um, and if they drop her back early, she might be home fairly soon. But I kind of feel like talking about it, so I'm gonna try and just see how we get on. <laughs> um, this week I'm feeling kind of hazy, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit foggy. I thought maybe we could just do a little Filofax update, a Filofax info dump. I kind of want to talk about it. There's been some stuff going on. It's been a good couple of weeks since the last one. Um, and I guess I still have a lot to say about my Filofax. <laughs> I'm still really content in this system, and after the chaos of last year, it's something that I'm really grateful for, <laughs> um, a bit emotional about. Like, the more I look back on last year, like, I just, I was in a really bad place. And although I don't completely regret all the experimentation I did, I think it really helped me to refine my system, but I'm just so relieved to feel peaceful at the moment, I guess. Um, anyway, I won't keep talking about it, but I just, it's a relief, <laughs> to be honest, to feel so good. Um, I will maybe start, I guess, by doing a flip through of recent pages. I'm not sure where we last got to. Um, I did archive some pages recently before March, so my March calendar is currently empty. I'm waiting for some stickers to arrive. I made a spring themed sticker sheet with some plants and stuff. It's more of like a, a damp garden <laughs> themed sticker sheet. There's like um, a watering can and a snail and some bugs and stuff and a rain cloud. Um, but it's cute and I would kind of like to use those here, so I'm waiting. I have been mostly keeping up. Yeah, oh no, today's the 13th. Okay, no, I'm like three days behind. But I am mostly keeping on top of the mood log this month. Um, and then I have some stuff to write in. Um, I also use my phone calendar, that's why I don't mind leaving it blank while I wait for stickers. Um, everything goes through my phone calendar because my dad and I have like a family calendar with my brother, it's all connected up so we can see each other's stuff um, and keep things straight in the household. Um, but I will come back and decorate this. I might try and film it again. Um, I don't know if you guys enjoy that, but it's nice, I guess, to film me decorating the calendar every month. But pending. <laughs> um, and then my sleep log, again, I'm three days behind, so that's not too bad. I also keep backup notes on my phone, just so that if I'm ever caught, caught out at a doctor's appointment, I still have them. Um, obviously not the same amount of data, but I do try to make little notes when I first wake up and stuff before things start to get hazy. Um, so I can backfill three days, no problem. This is a page I made for my autism inserts, which still aren't finished. <laughs> um, I'm still working on them in the background. But it's just like a weekly and daily reference sheet of things you should do if you're a human, I guess. Um, it's not a strict to-do list, it's just like a guide, so you can just do as much as you can. It's things like drinking water, cleaning up, showering, making your bed, brushing your teeth, uh, taking your meds and stuff. All the stuff I used to track as habits but don't really need to anymore, it's that kind of thing. And then down here I have things like reading a bit or journal planning, going for a walk, uh, taking a nap. <laughs> um, and it's just kind of nice. I put four, to, well there's two on each side. So one page is kind of like a month, which kind of works. Someone on Patreon said to put daily, weekly, daily, weekly, and then two pages is still a month, but at least you have one week at a time. And I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, kind of an oversight on my end. I will probably fix that. Um, but I like this. I think it's cute. I did a different illustration for each side. So there's a lamp, a receipt, some washing up liquid, and a candle. I think it's kind of cute. Um, the weekly one is the same. Again, it's just a guideline, but it's different things. So like doing laundry, hoovering floors, tidying your room, emptying bins, bed sheets, um, running errands, planning meals, groceries, washing your hair, that kind of thing. Um, it's just stuff that I can really easily forget to do. We all know that laundry is my nemesis. <laughs> Always forget to do the laundry. I just, if I'm not looking at it, I just forget. And so I think it can be really helpful to just have a list like this. And every day I just kind of run down the list and then I suddenly think actually I should plan meals or actually I do need to order groceries um, or I do need to do laundry, that kind of thing. And then it also includes resting for a day and then the bit down here again says watching a movie, printing photos, talking with friends, special interests and time with hobbies, which I think is nice. That's kind of like the more practical stuff and then there's kind of like the nicer things that you should do like for your spirit I guess. <laughs> um, 
the same as on the daily page. So I really like these. I'm testing them at the moment and I think they're really working. Um, it took me a good couple of days to troubleshoot how I wanted to lay it out, but I think I'm really happy with it. Um, so that will be in the autism pages when they're ready, <laughs> but for the time being, they're in test. Um, this is some journaly stuff. Um, some journaly stuff. This is another one of my autism inserts. This one is a self-care assessment. So if you're feeling funky or bad and you're not quite sure why, you can kind of go down this checklist and think like, okay, have I eaten today? Is that why I feel like shit? Um, have I changed my clothes? Have I checked that I'm not in more pain than normal? That kind of thing. So there's like a physical assessment and then there's an emotional assessment. So like, am I feeling stressed? Am I feeling sad? Am I feeling angry or trapped? That kind of thing. And you can kind of go down this checklist quite fast and tick them off. And then you can kind of take your time on this side. And then it says down here, like, would it help to take a break from social media? Is there anything within my control that I can change? That kind of thing. And then on the back, I just have like a journal page. So you can read this section, I guess, and this section. Here I put notes about pain personally. And then for this bit, the emotional assessment, I can write about it on the back and it's quite nice. So this was the day I tested it. I was having a bad day. <laughs> it was a Saturday, I think. And on the back, I wrote about what was going on and maybe why I was feeling that way. And then I played Animal Crossing to try and help myself feel better. So then I put the Animal Crossing photos on top to try, kind of, sort of try and not cover it up necessarily because I wanted the photos, but it is kind of nice that I don't have to look at the the negative mood i guess um it's just it's nice i think it, i think it works <laughs> so another thing i guess that i i'm glad i made and that is kind of working i'm kind of test running everything um and then i think we mostly just have some journaly pages uh wednesday uh my dad and i getting coffee we sometimes do that at the weekends um we got donuts this day <laughs> and then some commonplace stuff about bogs <laughs> um this will seem a bit out of left field but i've been kind of into bogs like just bogs and like wetlands swamps marshes fens everything <laughs> for a while um but it kind of flared up a bit recently i was talking to my dad about something and it just like i don't know what happened i fell into a hole i accidentally opened a door titled like special interest level three bogs <laughs> um so i just i've been making a lot of commonplace stuff about bogs and i have more to show you in a minute but it's a whole thing have some pages on bogs <laughs> um some plants and stuff some local wetlands this one isn't stuck down yet um it's from Nat Geo. It's just the page they have about bogs. It's really good. And then I have my photo experiments from last week. Um, all three of them lined up. <laughs> I made these pages kind of reflecting on how they looked and to keep the test prints safe so we can look at them again. Um, these are not actually stuck on top of each other. They're like layered really carefully. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Um, this very much reminds me of being in like art school or when I was in college doing a photography course and you had like your, pho your photography sketchbooks and everything was always layered up. Um, very satisfying to me. <laughs> you can really see how purple those sprocket prints are here. Um, but I really like these pages, I think it's really nice. Um, and then here I was testing a different printer that I haven't told you about yet. I will likely do another follow up and explain. I also returned my Kodak printer to see if I can get a replacement. I think maybe that um, artifact I had in the sky was like a, how would you call it, that it was like a malfunctioning product basically. Um, I don't know if they will accept the full return <laughs> because it's missing a pack of paper because I printed them to test if I could get the artifact to go and then I opened a new pack to test if a fresh pack would fix it. It didn't. Um, some of you thought that it could be because there's too much detail in the sky and the camera was just struggling with it, the printer. Um, but it wasn't noise or like static like I would expect in a photo if it was struggling. It was like a square. I know it was hard to see in the footage, but it was like this blue square. It was almost like there's a logo or something inside the printer and it was like reflecting that somehow, that kind of thing. Um, I'm really not sure. Someone did send me a message on Tumblr and let me know they had the same problem. Um, and a few other people said they didn't have the problem. So we'll have to wait and see. If they send me a replacement or if I can buy a replacement, then I will do a, a re another test, <laughs> a retest. Um, but that's kind of what's happening there. Um, and then I, I'm also planning to do a, a comparison of like three Instax printers. If anyone's curious about that, let me know. <laughs> um, I found my square one. Obviously I have the one that I showed you last week and then I'm also testing this one at the moment. So it's kind of, you know, it's interesting. Um, 
this is from when I got that printer and then here are some test prints and you can kind of see the color difference let me um you can see the color difference in the two the two instax printers and they're the exact same film that 20 pack of film i bought this is one of the tens and this is the other 10 so it's the exact same film but the printer prints them completely differently which is so interesting <laughs> but if you wanna if you want a video on that let me know would be willing to do it i think i like these a lot so that's kind of what i'm thinking for traveling um Moving on, I have my stickers that I talked about, my little wet garden stickers. <laughs> this is a signet, um, a little notebook with clovers, a converse with a spiderweb on it. Um, and then this is the stuff I've been working on the last couple of days. So, so this is another current spread. And then we're back on the box. <laughs> um, some, you know, things going on here. There's a map. Um, bog development. Um it's just you know there's some stuff going on i actually have another page in here somewhere I just printed them and then commonplace pages and then the rest of the autism inserts that i'm testing currently which i think i might have already showed you i'm not sure but i'll talk about those at a different time and the rest of it is just blank pages except that i did finally also write my crescent city review <laughs> um so that's at least finally done and my books are up to date i'm still reading um night terrors um, I'm kind of taking my time with it because a lot of it is very relatable for me. It's kind of a lot, <laughs> but I, I am enjoying it a lot, basically. I don't want it to end, so I'm kind of pacing myself. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about today was I got these clear binders on Amazon. I really like my Franklin Covey binder that my dad managed to secure for me, but the problem is that my pages, I don't have that many pages at the moment in archive, it's just these and what's in here. And the Franklin rings are so tall <laughs> that it's not very satisfying to flip like only 40 pages over the huge rings. Um, I might revisit it when I have more pages, maybe at the end of the year or something or in six months time. But at the moment, it's kind of nice to have a smaller binder for my current pages. Someone let me know. I think a few people let me know actually that the A6 binders that I had mentioned seeing on Amazon were actually personal size binders and they were actually just mislabeled. So I kind of took a chance and ordered one and you guys are right, um, these are personal <laughs> and the rings obviously match up. So when I saw that worked, I picked up a couple more and I will put them together in a second. Um, they're made of PVC, which I think people have warned me against in the past because they can get moldy if there's humidity. Um, let me know if that's a thing that's happened to you but i will be careful <laughs> um i'm not sure i think maybe the uk is kind of dry enough that it should be okay um but i do keep thinking about that so it doesn't really smell particularly strong and it's okay i think it's going to get fingerprinty and quite scratched up relatively soon but it's okay you have to kind of bend it out quite hard to get it to stay but i do like them i think they're a cool effect um, so I put my current archived pages in here, all the ones that you've seen recently. And this one is my journal slash like my dated pages, I guess. And then what I've done <laughs> is make like covers for them. That's my other book page. Um, so this one I made for this binder. It's my first archive book, basically. It's December to March. There's like the information about what's in there on here. And then that's cool like it just it just works I'm gonna put it in as the front cover and then I'm gonna make a couple of other ones because I was kind of thinking this is gonna go everywhere see don't be annoying this is the only problem with this binder I think because it's like they it can't hold that many pages really so every time I open it it all kind of pops out and because of the plastic it doesn't really hold its own weight it just sort of springs out I need to try and this is messy to try and do. Okay, let's see. I don't want to scratch my pages up too much either. It's um, it's fiddly. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Maybe it would be easier to do it. No. Okay. Made a mess. Hang on. Let's do it one at a time. You have to really bend them out. That's my only thing. If anyone has advice, I think you just have to train it. But it's kind of a nightmare. Um. Let's just do them a few at a time even though it will take, take ages. This is a nightmare. Um, right, let's see if we can. And the problem is I have pages that aren't full size in here, so I can't just throw them all on because they don't all line up properly. 
but it is a really cool effect when it's all tidy oh my god where did that just come from so what i did was come back through here and fill in some of the gaps with the new pen to try and spread the distribution of the new pen across the pages a bit better um and look how cool the cover looks i'm i like it so i need to fill these but what i did was come back through and add some words not here um, I did some more writing for this archiving commonplace pages. It was about the set or custom system, and I kind of added some new thoughts and I filled in here, and also this. And then I also dated the pages because I hadn't been doing that when I first started, but that's what I want to do going forward. So I went back and dated as many of them as I could, the ones that had the date mentioned in the page. Um, I was doing this thing where I was kind of writing down the date in the first sentence, or I do this other thing where sometimes I write it, sort of, let me find it, so it's an article, um, I kind of put it in brackets, like here it says like 8-1, uh, so it would have been the 8th of January, um, so I was going back through and finding those dates and writing them down, um, and I think it looks nice, and it's just easier to be able to flick through a book like this, <laughs> um, and it's it's really nice. It's a lot easier than the big the big rings. If you've ever flipped the paper over the giant rings, and you know what I mean. I think a lot of people don't like it for that reason. Um, and I think I do like it. I think I might like it more at the end of the year, as I said, when I have a lot more pages. Like maybe what I can do is throughout the year keep different parts of my archive in these clear binders, and then at the end of every year is move them into a Franklin copy binder so I can reuse the clear ones or something. I mean, maybe that's kind of an option. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do today, <laughs> my thinking, here is where I've spiralled to. I was uh, I picked up a couple more because they work, and I'm always scared of stuff going out of stock, which does happen more than I would like. <laughs> um, I have a really hard time buying the supplies I use, and I don't know if it's just because they're good supplies or if it's because this one feels different. This one is like a lot flimsier. Oh, that's so weird. See, this stresses me out. This is the problem with buying stuff on Amazon. I'm like, it's from the same seller. Why is it different? This one is thicker and this one is like floppier. Uh, it doesn't matter, <laughs> but it's like, why? Um, it's because it's drop shipping in it. But um, what I thought I could do maybe is, what was I saying a second ago? I can't remember. Um... This is like completely misaligned. No, it's just because it's PVC and PVC is so weird. For what it's worth, I would prefer a hard plastic, a frosted plastic binder. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of PVC. It's a weird material. Um, okay, it's fine. Anyway, what I would like to do potentially, because I thought these binders were going to work and they will, um, is make special interest binders for my commonplace pages. So what I have done is make one for commonplacing and then I've made a bog book <laughs> because I have so much bog information at the moment. Um, that way when I visit bogs I can take my bog book with me and it could be like a really silly thing. <laughs> um, so I made these front covers very similar to the front cover I made for my journaling archive thing, my memory keeping archive I guess. Um, obviously this is all my personal stuff, and then commonplacing is not personal, it's not meant to be personal, I feel like I really contributed to the misinformation surrounding commonplacing, but commonplacing is when you take other people's words, it's when you're, you're printing articles or you're writing down, like, passages from books and stuff, it's information that, that is not your thoughts, basically, <laughs> um, it's when you collect other stuff, so... I have a separate one for my commonplace book, which will be nice to separate stuff back out. And I ordered some dividers from Franklin Corvu. Um, I think they do have a... They, I don't know if maybe they have an old shop front or something, and that was why I couldn't check out before, but I, you can check out from their, their international shop. <laughs> so I ordered some dividers because I don't really want to make my own. Um, and obviously my pages are Franklin Corvu compact size, so the dividers will fit my pages, whereas the Filofax ones will be too short. <laughs> um, so I ordered some dividers so I can put them in my commonplace book and stuff. Um, and I kind of thought maybe we could set them up. I have all my bog pages. I don't know if I want to do it right now. I don't know if I feel ready to take stuff out. I literally just put all of this in here. But I have articles in here basically. And when I take the articles out of here, I think I'll then be left with enough room to put the entirety of March in this binder, which is why I wrote December to March. 
Um, some of my pages and my filofax, or my moterm, sorry. <laughs> People are being funny with me for calling it a filofax, but for me, filofax is almost like synonymous with a ring planner. Like when I say ring planner, I feel like I design jewelry for a living. Um, but some of my pages with the Polaroids and the prints are a bit thicker, so I was worried they wouldn't fit. Um, but it, when I take my commonplace pages out, I think they will, so that'll be good. Um, and then I think it'll be nice. I think it works well. This is kind of exciting, and designing these front covers was really fun. Um, I had a really silly, goofy time doing this, making my little bog book with its moss. <laughs> um, and then my commonplace one too. It's just, it's really fun. So it's kind of nice. Um, I do hate that these binders are so like kind of inconsistent and weird, but they do look cool when they're full. So I will just have to try really hard to not overthink it because again, the options do feel limited for archive binders. Um, and for the time being, I think it works well. Um, I guess that's kind of all I have to say this week. I don't really want to take this stuff out right now because I literally just managed to squeeze it all back in there. But I think in a couple of weeks time at the end of the month, I'll be ready to archive again. And then um, we can move pages over and that will be nice. Um, the other thing that is nice about these binders, put these in here for a minute. See like how cool that looks. I just think it's neat. Um, put my other bog, my bog page in. I don't really want to put those away right now, but what I've been doing on an afternoon when I go downstairs with Wednesday, I have this large Delphonics pouch. The blue one I have, I think is a medium and this is a large one, but I can actually fit my <laughs> my, my binder, whatever you want to call it, my motem, um, this, and I can get this and they can both go in here. Um, I'll show you, I'll prove it. Look at that. That is madness. So when I travel, when I go to Canada and stuff, and when I go up north at the end of the month, I can just take this with me like this in my suitcase or in my bag. <laughs> um, and there's just something very satisfying about knowing I can carry them both around with me. Um, so at the moment, I've been kind of referencing these pages on and off, which is why it's nice to have them in this binder and not the Franklin Colby one, because I can carry it around with me and I can flip through it really easily and I can reference both of them at the same time and kind of go back and forth between them. And it's just a very cool thing. I really like that. I find it very compelling. <laughs> so that is kind of where we're at. I am still really happy in my system and my setup. I'm having like the best time still. Um, and as I say, after the chaos of last year, it is something that I am like incredibly grateful for really. <laughs> it's not something that I'm taking lightly. Um, I don't want to say it's embarrassing, but it is slightly embarrassing to look back on last year and how much I moved around because I just felt so restless. Um, and I guess with some foresight or some some aftersight, <laughs> um, I can tell how much I was kind of struggling. Um, and it's quite hard to listen to myself talk about different stuff week to week and stuff. And I don't know, it's weird to have it so documented. But I, then again, it's like, I don't think it is something that people should be ashamed about. Like at least I learned a lot in the process. <laughs> Um, and at least it got me here now. Like maybe I would never have found this system if I hadn't done all of that is I guess how I'm trying to think about it, but it's weird for sure. Um, I like this a lot and I think these binders, <laughs> if they can be even slightly consistent, have a lot of potential because it feels very much like some extension of a bound book, but also an index card system combined because the pages are loose and can be moved around. They can go into different binders. They can be carried separately or together, that kind of thing. They can be filed and refiled and photocopied and filed again. <laughs> um, and it's just cool. It feels like a really good development of the kind of the hopes that I had for my system this time last year, I guess. Um, it's just, it's quite, it's quite exciting. I'm very happy, <laughs> which is a strange thing to feel in my books. Um, but really glad for it. So I guess I will check in again in a couple of weeks with my filofaxes and I can hopefully archive some more pages in here and maybe it will be full. There is still some room, even though it's fiddly. Um, I think it could hold quite a lot. It's just that then when you open it, everything falls out. I don't know how people cope with their general planners being so full because every time you pop the rings, everything must slide everywhere and that would actually do my head in. <laughs> Mine is pretty empty comparatively, thankfully. Um, but there we go, still having the best time, really, I am. It's so nice to be able to like make pages like this and to choose whether to print the images separately and glue them on, like these, or to print them on the page, like these ones. 
um, it's just, it's very cool, and then to make the covers too, very exciting. Okay, I hope that's interesting for you, that's the update, I kind of felt like I had to make it because some stuff is going on, you know, some stuff is developing. Hope it was interesting for you, let me know if you're interested in more follow-ups for the printers, I don't know if I want to buy any more new ones to try, a lot of people mentioned the Canon Selfie Square, I think, um, I'm potentially open to it if enough people are interested. Um, but I could also make that Instax comparison video and I will let you know if Amazon <laughs> refund my Kodak printer. Um, but that's where I got to with it. Okay, hope this was interesting. Not sure what I'm making next week, but, um, we'll see. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope March is treating you well so far. Um, and I will see you next time.